to uh, the webinar. You can see I'm taking this. Uh, I'm taking this. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I, as you can see, I'm taking this um, quarantine uh, pretty serious with my lack of uh, shaving here. So, um, but enjoying it none the least. Hi, Greg. How are you? Uh, so a couple things I wanted, uh, this won't be a very long, uh, webinar. I wanted to, we've had been having problems with zoom and I've noticed I've, I've done a couple other things with, um, I've no, uh, done a couple of other things with go to meeting and both have been having, uh, issues, uh, because of, uh, what is happening with the, um, uh, coronavirus and everything that's that's going on with that. But I wanted to uh, use today to give you some resources that I think uh, could really be beneficial. And I'm going to send all this out in an email to everyone uh, just so they have it. Um, so let me kind of uh, let me kind of put a couple things together here for you. Uh, first and foremost, let me share my screen here um got to go back and do that properly though hold on one second for some reason oh there we go okay boom my button disappeared for a little bit so let me go ahead and share that let's see what we got here uh, okay so you all should be able to see my screen now and the first one that I want to uh, kind of highlight is these are some programs that have been put in place by the $2 trillion stimulus uh, that the president put into work this last week. Um, some of this is very fluid. It's changing. Some of this is very new. Um, but uh, in some of this, you know, I get a lot of the questions just in basic talking uh, conversations to people and specific questions as to what I think is going to ultimately go on with this. And my answer is typically, I don't know. It's very fluid. And uh, I do think that the remnants of the, um, of the illness on our economy is going to last longer than the remnants of the illness itself, uh, COVID-19. So that's just my opinion. Um, but I, I think there's some things in place that we can take advantage of uh, today that uh, will help with some of this. So I wanted to highlight some of this. The first one is uh, this small business disaster uh, relief loan and grant. Um, this is the website here that you're seeing on the screen. And um, this is uh, where you should be. And I'll again, I'll put this out. Uh, by way of email, but this is a great way to uh, be able to get a loan for um, your business. If you're a real estate agent broker, which all of you are on this this webinar, um, th you all ap um, apply uh, to this um, uh, loan, this availability of this loan. So it's for uh, businesses, private nonprofits, homeowners, and renters all can apply here. And I would advise everyone to kind of get through this today. Um, they did set aside <clears throat> um, a, a certain amount of money for this. Uh, I think it's $350 billion uh, is, uh, for this. But if you take a look at, um, you know, uh, the amount of people in the United States and the amount of people that are going to be looking for this, I think that money is going to go fairly quickly. So um, I would I would take advantage of this. Let me kind of read through this so that you, you know what we're dealing with here. The SBA is collecting the requested information in order to make a loan under SBA's Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. So the qualified entities listed in this application that are impacted by the corona COVID-19 uh, coronavirus. 
uh, the information will be used in determining whether an applicant is eligible for economic injury loan. If you do not submit all the information requested, your loan cannot be fully processed. So there's going to be some things that you need. Uh, I would recommend getting out your tax return from 2018 or 2019 if you've filled that out, uh, because they're going to be asking for things like um, your uh, the gross revenues for the company, the cost of goods sold, uh, basically your expenses in producing that income. Uh, so things like that you will need. You'll need to check you know, what type of business you are um, and make sure that you're not involved in any legal activity or you know, things that are, that are here on this second um, box. It's very streamlined, it's very quick, uh, but you can imagine that the amount of people that are submitting this is very large. So I would really not wait uh, on, on putting this in. Uh, I have a friend that uh, did this. Uh, he did it as soon as this came out, and he was um, approved for a $112,000 loan at 3.5% interest. All the payments are deferred for a year. And some of that 112000 may be uh, uh, forgiven um, by way of the, the rules and what's coming down with that. So uh, you can see uh, the, the benefit of this and how it could help people. The second thing that I want to mention is uh, this right here. This came from uh, the Washington Post. Again, I will put all of this in uh, an email to everyone, the whole team. So they know that, but this is kind of a cool thing from the Washington Post, uh, where you can actually calculate how much you'll get from the twelve hundred dollar coronavirus stimulus checks if you are going to get one. Um, not everybody is uh, getting one, but um, this is kind of a neat thing. Um, just I'll read this a little bit here. The U.S. government is about to send checks or direct deposits to most Americans to help people survive financially as much uh, as of the economy shuts down in an effort to slow the spread of the novel coronavirus. Bipartisan legislation signed into law by President Trump would provide $1,200 payments to adults with annual incomes up to $75,000 plus another $500 per child. Some Americans earning more than $75,000 would also receive money if they meet the certain qualifications outlined below. For most Americans, the money is likely to arrive in April via direct deposit. Mail checks may take longer. Uh, use the calculator below to see how much you receive. Under that, see answers to frequently answered questions. So I'll just go through a couple of these just so that we're covered. Again, this particular webinar uh, is in an effort to help all of you, our team here, to um, uh, you know kind of weather this storm financially. Um, and so I want to make sure everybody's aware of, of what these programs are. Uh, who qualifies for the payment? Individuals with adjusted gross incomes up to $75,000 a year will be eligible for this $1,200 check. Reduced checks will go out to individuals making up to $99,000 a year. The payment falls by about $5 for every $100 in income above $75,000. Married couples are eligible for $2,400 uh, as far as a check, as long as their adjusted gross income is under $150 per year. And then reduced checks on a sliding scale will go out to married couples who earn up to $198,000. Married couples also will receive an additional $500 for every child under the age of 17. Um, the, uh, the next question there, how does the U.S. government know where to send the money, right? That's an important one. If you've already filled out a 2019 tax return, uh, most of everybody's working on that now, they should be, uh, the Internal Revenue Service will use the direct deposit information on your 2019 return to send your payment to your bank account. If you don't provide the IRS with direct deposit details or you've closed that account, then the IRS will mail you a check. If you have yet to file a 2019 return, the IRS will see that um, it, it, the check to make sure you filed a 2018 
tax return and use that information to determine whether you meet the qualifications for a check and find your bank details or mailing address. So that's cool. That's important to know. When will these checks arrive? Well, Secretary uh, Munchen uh, has set a goal of getting the first payments out the door the week of April 6th. Many experts say that this is an ambitious timetable and it might get pushed back later in April, so expect it then. Uh, what about people on Social Security? I don't know if uh, anybody on this call is on Social Security. Maybe some people are, uh, but you might know somebody, so this is information for them. People on Social Security are eligible to receive the coronavirus relief payment as long as their total income does not exceed the limit. Low-income Americans on Social Security do not file a tax return as long as they receive Social Security 1099 form. Uh, the federal government will be able to send them a payment via the usual way uh, that they get their Social Security payment. Retirees and people on disability are both eligible for this special payment. So that's great. Uh, how many Americans will get these payments? Roughly 125 million people will receive a check. Who won't get a check? The main people excluded from receiving payment are the wealthy, non-resident aliens and dependents who can be claimed on someone else's tax return. Will there be another payment in the summer? Maybe. President Trump has said that he is open to another round of checks, but only if the economy remains anemic uh, through the spring and an additional boost is warranted. Uh, so you can read the rest of this when you go there. I just wanted to hit it a little bit because I think for a lot of people, this is uh, important. Um, it's uh, really information that I think uh, a lot of people could use or they know people in their family as uh, friends or relatives that could use this as well. And then a couple of other things, uh, mortgage, banks, rent, um, credit cards, all of these things. Uh, are, are their rules are changing and very fluid uh, with regard to that, but there is relief with them if you approach them and uh, talk to them about the uh, utilities also are included in that and talk to them about how the, uh, the coronavirus has disrupted you financially and put you in a, a hardship, be it uh, temporarily. Uh, they are all putting in programs to delay those. I shouldn't say all, but a lot of them are putting in payments to delay those uh, putting in programs to delay those payments. So you may want to reach out. This is just one uh, article that I saw from Fox Business. Um, credit cards offering coronavirus relief with fee waivers, payment flexibility. So look into that. This is just one from Fox Business uh, that I wanted to bring you guys. As the coronavirus outbreak reached the U.S., 110 million people had underlying credit card debt according to a new creditcards.com poll. Uh, with the uncertainty of the virus and the economic hardships it's caused for many Americans, some credit card issuers are offering relief to cardholders, including those in debt. So this goes on to talk about that. Um, and so uh, just it reminded me to let you guys know that you, you may want to reach out to uh, those places, your bank, uh, mortgage company, uh, landlord, if that's the case, uh, credit card companies, utilities, things like that. So uh, that's it. I wanted to cover those things, but really that um, the uh, first couple things I covered were probably the most important on this. I would really advise you to take advantage of that and, and put that in place. Uh, I know we are. We're going to look at everything that we can uh, use with that. And after all, it's your money. You've paid for it. Uh, it's taxpayer money. So, um, you know, maybe you, you get it and use it to help others. I don't know, but uh, that would be up to you. So that's it. That's it for the call. I wanted to keep it light. I know everybody has a lot going on. Tomorrow's call, we're going to get back to the sales side of things. And we're going to start uh, covering and finishing off that, that sales module that you know, we've been on for a while. But very, very. Um, important that um, uh, you learn that skill. Hopefully everyone is taking this time <clears throat> and going through the agent broker blueprint. I know that we do have a lot of people because I'm getting uh, comments and and uh, I can see it on our system. So that's good. 
uh, really take this time to, you know, sharpen your sword a little bit so that when this market does turn around and it will turn around, um, that you are ready to go and uh, you're ready to jump back in and, and help people with the services that you guys bring uh, with regard to uh, being a real estate agent. Uh, so life will get back to some form of normality. I don't know when, but it will happen and you want to be ready. So that's it. That's it, guys. I want to wish everybody good luck. Remember, wealth has nothing money, Wealth has nothing to do with money. Uh, success has everything to do with failure. And life is as simple as you uh, want to make it. Good luck, everybody. Let me know if you need anything. We will be here and we will talk soon. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thank you.